<coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Not a way I want to start my video. And I know I don't usually um, post videos on here, but as you can see recently now, I am in the hospital. And, uh... Last month on the 16th, March 16th, 2018, I was officially diagnosed with lupus. Now, being officially diagnosed was a scary thing because you, I was sick for a very long time. Flare up last probably a couple months because I didn't know and I was still working. And I could have pretty much killed myself. Um, I was working three jobs. Trying my best to get my own place, you know. Um, I was tired of living with people. And uh, finally got two jobs at once. Started working and it wasn't that bad. And then my best friend had got me another job as a supervisor. And that's when things got hectic. I started getting like uh, these sharp uh, joint pains. And then I was wondering like, telling my best friend all the time like, why is it that all of my joints hurt my fears? My feet my feet did swell and they were painful. And I continued to go to work on them anyway because I thought it was just me working too much. Oh, crap. My lupus is, is a little red today. I didn't know. But anyway. um, So, I'll, going through small flare-ups, I didn't realize it. I didn't know I had lupus, so I didn't realize I was doing any damage. So I was still going to work every day, still going from one job to the other, back to the other job. Um, didn't think I was doing any harm. Just the tired woman working, trying to make a living. Um, got to the point where I started getting kind of sick, but I was still disregarding being like, uh, I got a cold. Uh, went home from work probably about twice within those times, but that means my lupus flare was going on for about a month or two before it got bad. And then when it got bad, it got bad. I mean, I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't eat. I couldn't move. I didn't want to be bothered. I didn't want to talk. I couldn't drink anything. I just could not do anything for myself. Everything was bad. Joints were flared up. Muscles were tight. And I didn't know what was wrong. I said, why am I so sick? Why is this happening to me? Um, my best friend started taking care of me when I went from one jail. I didn't feel comfortable being home alone, being that sick. And once I got that sick, and I don't mean to cut the story off, but just in case, a doctor walks in because I am in the hospital. I'm sorry for the interruption. But, um... I didn't feel comfortable being home alone, being that sick, so I stayed at my best friend's house while my boyfriend went out of town for a business trip. When I was there, I wasn't feeling that great still, um, and I had diarrhea really bad, so I had to keep running back and forth to the bathroom. Give me a second. I had to keep running back and forth to the bathroom, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this rash appears and it wasn't like really going all the way around my face but it was just like here 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 and i looked at my best friend and said what is this and she had no idea my mom forced me to go to the hospital sent me an uber i went to the clinic first and they seen the rash it was really red and piercing and i was really down and i, I just didn't want to sit i wanted to lay down i said didn't feel comfortable sitting i had to lay down um so then, she's like, it looks like you have lupus. I didn't know what that was, really. I heard of it, didn't know what it was. Um, so, they called the ambulance and sent me to a hospital. And once I got to the hospital, I was there for about nine hours. They did a bunch of blood work and checked everything they could possibly check. Then, kept, I kept, they kept constantly telling me, I don't get to that. They keep constantly telling me that my, my white cell blood count was really low. And that, and to rewind for a part that I just skipped, I was already going to an emergency room when I wasn't feeling well. And this certain emergency room, I'm not going to say, 
were tell kept telling me I was just I just had the flu, I just had a bug, there was nothing wrong, giving me the wrong medicine the whole time. It, my lupus was getting active for a very bad flare. Whew. Okay, so finally, um, I get. I don't get any medicine or anything yet because I didn't have any insurance at the time. So I just had to battle with it and get myself. My best friend actually got me better by having given me natural fruits and giving me some high vitamin D pills because she was pregnant. And it helped me out. At the point, I started feeling okay again. I was able to eat again. <laughs> that only lasts about two, three weeks. Um, I think two, three weeks, I had, uh, try to see how this one started. I was fine. I'm, and I'm going to give it probably a little, yeah, I'm going to give about two or three weeks. And then they, I went to, I had a regular, my first rheumatology appointment. And they moved my, they moved the building around, because I, I never went to the hospital. I don't come out here. So they moved the building around. I got sent to the wrong building for my Uber. So I didn't just like, oh, I'll just gotta walk a block down the street. Still was fine. Walked the block. Kind of started getting chest pain. So I took my inhaler. Um, I was fine at the appointment. I got home. I was extremely tired. Extremely tired. Like I couldn't get my coat, my backpack. I couldn't get anything off. I fell asleep on my couch. So when I got into my apartment, and uh, my boyfriend wakes me up, like, did you go to your appointment? Yes, I did. I don't know why I'm so tired. I go to the room, finally. He leaves, I go to the room, I go to sleep. Wake up around probably 11 o'clock at night. Excruciating pain in the abdomen area. I know what's going on. I dealt with it all that night. Couldn't sleep, tossed and turned all night. Um, Got to the point where I got to ride to the hospital. I dealt with it through that whole day. The next day when I woke up, but then once that night came, I just couldn't take it anymore. I went to the hospital. Told me I was fine again. Because that's the closest hospital to my house. And that's the only place the ambulance will take me. So then, I'm like, whatever. Go home. Still in too much pain. Still tossing and turning. I said, forget this. I called 911. I called 911 again. No, the first time I got a ride to the hospital. Then I called 911 this time. And they tell me the same. They they didn't get to see me. My brother got fed up. Like, you're not going to the same hospital. There's something wrong with you. We're going to take you to a different... We're going to get the second opinion. We get the second opinion. I'm having a major flare-up. Um, it's really bad. They said everything in my abdo everything in my body was inflamed. So I've been in this hospital, let me see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today's the third day. Tomorrow's Monday. I'm here Monday. I have to get a, a kidney biopsy now to make sure the lupus does not reach to my kidneys because of protein in my urine. And I can probably go home Tuesday. Probably. Depending on what my results say. So... That's pretty much my update for now for the lupus. I just found this out, and they're telling me, what did I do to get a flare-up? And like, ask me all these questions about lupus. I'm looking at them like, I know just as much as you, because I just found out I had it. So I'm trying to do all the research possible, and anybody can comment and let me know what, if you have lupus and what you do for yours. Or just any type of information that you have, because I need to learn. I need to know everything, you know? Especially if I'm going to live with this for the rest of my life. So, as you can see, um, like I said, start off my joints. This wasn't here. Uh, chest pains, abdominal pains. Right now, I'm uh, actually going to have to get up to use the bathroom shortly. It's hard for me to move around in here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my update for now. Uh, they gave me prednisone. Um, yeah, but if there's anything else... I'll let you guys know uh, about it before I get out of here. Um, I'm kind of rushing to use the bathroom now. <laughs> so that's my update.